In this training movie, I'm going to show you how to draw a deck that's made out of wood and then putting railing around it. So first of all, you want to draw the deck. You use the drawing tools, which is the defined area tool. So we'll just put this up here at the top. I want to start over here by this wall. I'm going to bring it out into the yard about there. I'll hold down the shift key to give me a straight line. And then I'll bring this edge in here and bring it back over to here and we want to end it at the edge of this concrete here so we'll just draw it down to here we'll close the polygon and now I want to adjust this because I don't like what I've done I'll go here to the move point I'm gonna bring this in just a little bit more okay I'm happy with it now so I click greenscapes library I'm gonna to go to the secondary library to wood decking and you'll see the library appears here now you notice in the wood decking library we have the decking going two directions we have one going up and down and the other one is going left to right so if I want to use let's just use this dark wood as an example if I click on the left to right um, which is number two because there's always two of them we'll double click it and let's scale that and you see we got the wood going across this way if we go back in here and we use the other one, we have the wood going up and down. So let's pick the one we want. I want to use this blonde wood here. So now I've got the wood in there. I need to adjust the perspective. To do that, I grab the perspective handle and I'll bring it over here to the edge of the deck here and I'll bring it over on this side so that it lines up with this edge here and pretty much I'm done. You could go in there and scale it just a little bit get it exactly how you want it and then click OK to exit this menu. Now I want to create the illusion that the deck is sitting about six inches off the ground so I'll go back in here to the drawing tool and I'm going to draw just a little section here so that this piece here will look like it's off the ground. So I've drawn it in, I go to my Greenscapes library, I go to my wood decking, and this time I'm going to use the blonde wood going left to right. So I'll click on that and it places it in there. So that's pretty much done. We'll click OK. And now I want to create a shadow to give it a little more 3D effect. I'll click on that area I just drew. I could trace over it, but a shortcut, as you've seen in other training movies, is to go up here to duplicate and then click down so you've duplicated that shape. And then I'm going to right click and click shadow, and it creates a shadow, the exact shape that I had drawn here. So it's just a little bit faster to do it. Not so much when you have something that's only four lines, but when you've got a more complicated shadow, it is definitely a lot quicker. So I'm going to bring something down here at the bottom. So make this look like it's raised a bit. Again, we've just drawn in that point. I'm going to zoom in by pressing F10 on the keyboard and just get this point over here to the edge a little bit better zoom back out pressing F9 go back into Greenscapes library go into wood decking and again we're going to use the left to right and we want to scale this up and that's about all we need so we'll click OK and again to make a shadow we click on duplicate click down right click click shadow and then drop that in there And that's about all there is to it. The deck's pretty much done. Now I want to put a railing or a fence around this deck. I'm going to show you a couple ways to do that. So first of all, we'll go up here to the object library. We're going to go to hardscapes. We're going to go to fences. And you see there are many different fences in here. But I'm going to show you the easy way, but it doesn't always work the easiest way. So I'm going to open up this fence here that happens to match with my decking pretty well. I'm going to size it up just a little bit and I want to place this fence along this edge of the deck. So I'm going to bring the fence over here. I go up here to the warp tool. I'll click on vertical and I'm going to grab this handle here and bring it over. You can see my fence is going to be pointing in this direction. I'll bring the bottom one over here and we'll make this a little bit larger here 
bring this guy down to match up with the edge of the deck and as you can see in a couple of seconds we got the fence in if that's the type of fence you want to use but what if you want something a little more open so you can see into the backyard so that's another type of uh, fencing that you put in and that's one section at a time as we'll show you here in a second so many times when we get photography from manufacturers, they only photograph one section of fencing. So let's go up here to the object library. We'll go to hardscapes. Let's go to fence croy vinyl. So it's a vinyl fencing. Bring this over here so you can see it. And here's the section here. You can see basically all of these are just one section of fence. So I'm going to use this one here that's highlighted. So I double click it it brings it up on the screen. Now first of all this is a white fence. If you want to change the color to match the uh, wood that you're using what you do is make sure the section is selected go here to tools go to colorize and then click on pick color and then pick a color from the deck itself so now it has that color here and now we're going to change color amount and as you can see as I slide this to the right the fence turns from white to more of a tan brown color here and we'll, let's try that we'll click OK and as you can see it matches the deck pretty well so I'm going to size this fence down a little bit and we'll put it up here in the sky floating for a second now I want to duplicate this section so I go over here to duplicate and again the duplicate tool will always duplicate in the center of the object so I've instead of having my mouse over here next to the edge I'm gonna place it about here and as you can see it placed it far enough away so that when I stop duplicating I want to pick these up and I want to drag them over to the uh, other section so they look like they're one long section here and I need one more section so I'm gonna duplicate that put it off to the edge and what you want to do too is make sure that they're lined up and you could use the arrow keys on your keyboard to make sure these rails down here are all lined up then I want to select them all by taking your mouse and dragging it across all of them and then go to object and click on merge objects because you want to make them a one object so now if I click off of it and click on any one of them I get all of them so they're all one piece now before I place this section of fencing in the image I'm going to duplicate it because I know I'm going to need another section and I don't want to have to build it again so I'll go here to duplicate and I'll just click it up here in the sky so I'm going to click on this one here get it into position and I'm going to size it down by dragging on one of the corner handles so now I've got it going across the back of the deck here and now that I have it on the back here, we'll see that this fence is a little bit taller than the one I've placed on the side. Not a big deal. All you got to do is click on the fence you already put in there, go back to the warp tool, and just drag this top handle so that it matches up to the top of the fence here. And we'll make it a little bit larger here. And as you can see, now the fences look like they're the same height. So we'll click OK now to exit that. And now we want to place another section in over here. So let's take this fencing here and we'll place it here again size it down now I'm going to duplicate this again because I know I'm going to need another piece so I click on duplicate and put it up in the sky now we'll go back to this piece here and what I want to do is I want to cut it off right at this point here so we go to the eraser tool we click on crop and I'm going to click and drag right to the edge there and then click again and it cropped off a piece of the fence so now I have this one section that I need so I'll click OK to exit the eraser tool and again I'm going to duplicate for another section and I'm going to bring this one down here and since I'm off the edge of the screen let's size this one up a bit Again, we go to the warp tool and we're going to bring this handle here to match up with that piece of fence and you can't see what I'm doing because I'm off the edge of the screen um, but basically I'm just adjusting the uh, 
height of the fence here on this section. So that's done. We'll click OK. Now I want to take this one I have in the sky. I'm going to place it right here because I'm going to have it go back towards this section of the fence here. I go to the warp tool, grab this handle, and I'm going to bring it out in this direction. I'm trying to get this one to line up so that it matches to the top of that post there. And this definitely needs to be a little bit taller here. That looks good enough, so now I'll crop it. Go to the eraser, go to crop. Crop that right about there. And pretty much we're done. So the other thing too is you want to make sure that you have your sections of fence, um, say the one that's closest to you in the front. Because I did this one first, it's probably behind these two. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click on bring to front. And as you can see, it now placed it in front of the other two here. Now I want to place some furniture here on the deck. So we'll go again to the object library, go to hardscapes, go down here to outdoor furniture. Let's get something that would look good on here. And let's try this one. And size it down. And it's still a little too big, so let's grab this baby, zoom out so we can get the edges of it. The image is a little large because I'm recording these movies at a lower resolution. So I'll place this right here in the middle. That looks about right to me. And now I want to create a shadow of this to make it look a little more realistic. So again, we click on it. We click on Shadow. And then we're going to click on the shadow itself. Pull it off to the edge so we can see a little bit better. Go here to the Warp Tool. We'll get on Horizontal and bring this down a little bit. And now I want to place it back underneath the chairs here. And as you can see, it gives it a little more realism with the shadow casting on here. So now I'm going to throw in some landscaping and give you an idea of the final image. So now that I've brought in a few plants, I thought I'd show you how I place them in there. So basically I have this plant here. I want to make it look like it's a little bit below the deck because the deck is six inches off the ground and behind the fence. So all you have to do is get it into position and then click send it back and now it's placed it back there behind uh, the fence. So if I want to duplicate that, bring one over here and again I need to go to send back. And pretty much that's all there is to it.